we have to ask you, has any conversation been had? Will any conversation be had? And would you be open to the possibility of hosting this show? There haven't been conversations. Shut up, that's not true. <laughs>
Reports also stated that the Wheel of Fortune staff had been left in the dark in terms of what was going on, which ironically was a similar complaint when Richards was at CBS. The Let's Make a Deal team reportedly felt neglected as a majority of Richards' attention went to The Price is Right. But for me, my biggest problem with Richards is something we just found out earlier this week. Trebek had mentioned in 2018 that attorney and CNN analyst Laura Coates would be a suitable replacement when his time on Jeopardy came to an end. Who would be a good, solid host of the show if you retired? There is an attorney. Laura Coates. She's African American. And she appears on some of the uh, cable news shows from time to time. As the guest host parade was going on, Coates said she inquired about the chance to audition for the role as a guest host. And in her words, she was told no. I asked for the opportunity. When it came time, um, when they were looking for people to possibly fill in, I certainly raised my hand and knocked on doors and found them closed. And um, I asked for the opportunity. I was told no, which is one of those moments, Tamron, when you have to remember to wear your own jersey. You have to remember to continue to be mm. your own champion in other respects. And, and um, sometimes the vision that you have for yourself or those that surprise you from other people don't align with what happens, and that happened there. Now again, it's important to remember Richards is not the head of Sony, but he was the head executive producer of Jeopardy. And as someone who spoke so highly of Trebek, you don't think the least he could have done was offer the chance to someone who Trebek himself named off, and who was clearly interested in the opportunity to at least try it out? The fact that Coates was told no is very telling to me, and at the very least, Richards could have done more to open that door for her. In hindsight, it's become abundantly clear that Richards was not the right choice for the position given how many people have spoken out against him. Interestingly enough, the one high-profile person I've seen that has continued to back Richards throughout all of this is Price is Right host Drew Carey. TMZ spotted the two in friendly conversation in mid-September. And a couple of weeks later, Carey said he believes Richards has an opportunity to create a strong second act for himself down the road. It's important to note that Richards is still with Sony, listed as an EP on Game Show Network's Chain Reaction. A modest step down from hosting Jeopardy, but hey, it's still a job in the game show industry. So it's not like he's been completely cancelled into total irrelevance. Whether he gets another hosting opportunity or not, that remains to be seen. So where does this leave Jeopardy? Well, it leaves it in the hands of the more than capable Michael Davies, who has been serving as EP in the interim. And I've gotta say, there's nobody more qualified for the position permanently. Davies is largely responsible for bringing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire to the United States. And he's made quite a positive impression in his first four and a half months at Jeopardy. Davies is, like yours truly, big on analytics and statistics. So much so that he's introduced daily box scores for each episode. You have to admire his passion. Davies is a very busy man, balancing his soccer podcast Men in Blazers with helping Jeopardy bounce back from the Richards controversy but he's perfect for the job. And when it comes to remaining on board beyond the interim role, he's even been quoted as saying it would be very hard to leave now. So honestly, I think the best thing for the show to do going forward is just to keep the status quo. Let's give Ken Jennings the daily syndicated show, give Mayim Bialik the primetime specials, and find a way to keep Michael Davies running the program for years to come. And while we're at it, with the winning streaks of Matt Amodio, Jonathan Fisher, and Amy Schneider this season, if the next Tournament of Champions isn't on in primetime, it'll be a major missed opportunity. In the meantime, though, ratings are up, and morale has largely recovered. My message to Sony? Don't fix what isn't broken. Thanks for watching. Oh, and in case I get asked again, no. I am not related to Amy Schneider. Sorry to disappoint.